I'm going to this concert alone. I don't need extra anxiety. Oh my god! No, I'm nervous. <laughs> day and it is a good day so i'm heading to the train station i'm going to paris for the weekend's concert i'm not thinking about it until like it happens so the concert is today my train leaves at 9 30 now it's 9 in the morning it's raining and it's kind of chilly today so i'm only going with a backpack i somehow fit all my clothes everything in there it's gonna be so heavy but we'll just get through it and yeah we're going to see the weekend we're going to see abel okay let's go My chicken is not until 2, now it's 12 o'clock, so I'm gonna meet my friend for lunch. Honestly, the moment you step outside, Paris is just a different vibe. It's just, whoever built this place was thinking, you know? He had a vision, it was so different. I am chilling here editing this video I just have to stop and say because you know I want to keep these things as memory for, for myself one day uh, on my way to the hotel and from that view that you see the Eiffel Tower that was the exact metro the exact view that I ever saw the Eiffel Tower for the first time ever eight years ago when I went to Paris for the first time I was with my siblings we got on the metro we look outside and I remember at one point they were all like, oh my God, look, look. And I look outside and it was the Eiffel Tower, the exact same view. Coincidentally, that same hotel we went to, it's the exact same hotel 
that I coincidentally booked. But I always remember that hotel and the metro ride to the hotel had such a nice view. And it was my first time seeing the Eiffel Tower. And just, it's crazy that coincidentally, I am booking the exact same hotel. The flashback I had, I was like, oh my God, how crazy would it be if I booked the same hotel? It's insane. I just to say that was the first time I ever saw the Eiffel Tower. That's exactly the same view and it was very beautiful. So experiencing that moment with them was very special to me. And I just wanted to tell that story. So back to the video. guys so i just got into my hotel room it's a really cute room okay i'm gonna show it to you before i mess i make a mess this is a really cute room it has a cute bed cute little table cute mirror and i think i mean i didn't see the bathroom yet so this is a cute little bathroom so that will do but I, oh i need to put the car to turn on the lights i was thinking oh, i need to stay at a place near a metro station. So it would be so easy for me to just like get to the stadium, see the concert and come back. I don't wanna like be walking alone at night. I'm going to this concert alone. I don't need extra anxiety. <laughs> so my aim was to find a hotel near a metro. When we stayed here years ago, after a couple of years, I was like, do we remember the name of the hotel? But none of us remember, none of us can find the reservation. I swear like when I was on booking and I was looking for hotels, in the back of my mind, I was thinking, ugh, that one we stayed at was so perfect. And it was just like a really second quick thought. And I just booked this one. And guess what? I'm staying at the same hotel that I wished I could stay at. Oh man. Oh man. Back to the main mission. I'm gonna just rest for a bit. I had such a good day. Way better than I expected. I knew I was gonna have a good day because I was meeting my friend and her family. She was in Lyon with me. And then she came to Paris now and I was like, I'm gonna miss you because she was the one that I did all my activities with. I met her, I met her family, I had such a good time. And I just feel like so happy. And I'm just like, I wish I could stay longer. I think sometimes the beauty of things is that it's ending soon. So my train is gonna be tomorrow, but we'll talk about this later. I'm gonna go shower, shower, cause I feel so sticky with this rain and this humid. Paris, you're beautiful. Okay, people, I am ready. I'm just putting on my shoes and I did my bag. Everything is ready. I'm gonna leave now. I don't know what I feel. <laughs> you know, should I share this? No, maybe one day. Oh my God! No, I'm nervous. I was just thinking that I wasn't nervous. I don't know what I feel, but no, I'm, just, I'm, I'm nervous. Okay, it's gonna be okay. It's gonna be fun. Oh, anxiety is heavy. It's gonna be okay. Let's go. So I did very minimal makeup really quickly. And I actually prefer it this way because it's summer, it is hot, it's raining today. So let's go. Phone, camera, wallet, passport, ticket. This is like the gazillion times I'm checking my bag. Okay. 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 We're good. We're good, good. We. Oui. Okay. It is happening, guys. It's happening.
inside the infrared season.
It was so good. It just was not long enough. So we just got back to the hotel. Oh my god. The concert was the most amazing experience ever. I don't even know where my seat was. I was like, okay, yeah, this is my row and I'm gonna just stand here for a bit. And before I know it, the show started and it was the most epic thing ever. This is the most beautiful stage, the most beautiful experience. It was such a good show. So I remember I just looked, I was like, so that's my row. I'll stand here. The show started and I just, everyone went insane. I didn't sit down for the whole two hours and I feel like it's not enough. <laughs> Like, I want to go to another concert now of his. It was not enough. I want to show you what I got. So I went VIP. I want to show you what I got from the VIP package. Um, I don't remember the number of the, the VIP package I got because there were like, I think, three different ones. I remember two of them were sold out. So I went with the one that was available. I'm so happy I decided to do this. When when he announced that he was going to do his Europe tour, I knew I had to get tickets. But I was kind of hesitant because I knew no one was available at the time to come with me and I was not going to miss this chance. I was like, nope, listen, it's scary, you're gonna go alone, but I really want to see him and I, I really am a big fan of him and his music, so we're not gonna miss this chance. Like it got dark and like with the lights and everyone's lights were on, like the, they gave us bracelets going on and off with the beat of the music, which was a really nice touch. His album After Hours was literally the album of my lockdown in 2020. That album was on repeat nonstop and it just took me to just a different space and I was just like... Oh my god, he's right there. Like, I'm just so happy. I wanna put you somewhere. Wait, hold on. So I wanna show you what I got from my VIP package. I got this, which I don't know what this is, so I'm gonna open it here with you. What is it? Oh, oh, I don't wanna take it out. It's a, it's a poster. I think it's a poster. I think it's a poster. I hope I can put it back the way it was. Wait. Okay. Ooh. Okay. This is going to be framed. What's gonna happen for this thing? It's definitely going to be framed. Okay. My mom is gonna kill me. The number of things I have back home that I wanna frame when I get my own house. She's like storing everything for me. And I'm just like, I keep buying random things and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna frame this one day. I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. I, I In my head, I buy and store. I know exactly where I'm gonna put it when I get my own home one day. Next, of course we get these VIP bracelets, okay. This was the bag that they had everything in. They had this in and then a t-shirt, which I was, I was really happy with because I was gonna buy one, but look at this. Yeah. This is the t-shirt from the back. I'm wearing this tomorrow. <laughs> I had such a good day. I'm gonna cry. I'm gonna have to go and cry and then like we'll do this again. I had a little mini grateful mini 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 grateful cry so yeah and also just one more thing where, where did i put it oh yeah so this part i love this thing oh my god i need a tissue wait i need a tissue because you are actually technically <laughs> i have you <laughs> on the tissue <laughs> so oh my god you're on the toilet paper tissue roller thingy okay so yeah they gave us these when we entered the vip area which i really like 
after hours till dawn. That's all we got. And I'm just really happy. Um, I've ha I had such a good day. Usually when I go to the things like that and concerts or big events, I have someone with me. Like I was having a lot of anxiety and I knew deciding to cancel and not going was not an option. I paid so much money for these tickets. It, it's an artist that I really, really, really like and I love his music. So I really pushed myself to go. The amount of anxiety I had, just like in the metro, there were so many people. It was crowded. It gets so uncomfortable, but I'm just so happy that I pushed myself to do this. And I just like hope like people, whoever like has, you know, anxiety about being in social spaces or any social setting, I think you will be surprised with how much it was worth sticking with that fear just letting it be there letting that anxiety be there it's gonna be there you can't force it i always say we're gonna just have to coexist <laughs> we compromise there are things i let the anxiety win and uh, there are things where i have to win you know me going to this concert i knew i had to take this win this time you know do this for myself. Best decision ever. I just feel really happy. So yeah. That's all. It was a good day. Okay. What's the time? It's time for me to go. It's time for me to go to bed. everyone i am back from paris i had the most amazing time so now i am back in lyon and i am packing for my trip so basically the car is coming to pick me up at three in the morning my flight is at 6 30 a.m so and now it's like 7 p.m so i'm just trying to pack everything do laundry that i can do and i'm like hoping it it can be dry by the time i leave i need to ch to like just rest for a bit just to sit down because since i got back i've been just like all over the place <laughs> i'm so excited for the trip yes okay let's do this